our hold down of the quarter inch plywood for this console cover is real simple. It's just double sided heavy duty carpet tape. This will be underneath the plywood as well as underneath the foam which will take up any of the overcut through the wood. This is inside the CNC booth. Just more double sided tape for the bottom of that insulation foam. We have our design from Inkscape using Geocode tools into Mach 3. Everything is set up here. Got the cutter on there. Everything's lined up. I've done some test runs over the wood. So now we're going to turn it all on and see what we've got. Okay, we're going to pull this off and see how this looks. Again, that double-sided tape works perfectly for stuff like this because this isn't going anywhere and to pull this off takes a fair amount of effort. These cuts look pretty clean. I need to sand off those little fuzzy ends. Right, let's take this off and see what we have. And for a real simple connection method, we're going to mount those radios to that cutout console cover with just aluminum L-channel. Two pieces, one on either side, and then a reinforcing bracket. The two ham rigs attached with that L-bracket, the aluminum L-stock. Mounting the scanner is going to be real similar to the two ham rigs some aluminum L-channel. Screw down here, we'll do one on the other side too. I replaced those two screws. The two red screws are replacements because they're long. So there's a real simple bracket to hold the scan gauge. I took the scan gauge apart and just bolted, bolted the back to it. These four holes on the side were just to gain access to the side here to put the screws back in to hold the gauge together. So these do not offer any strength. The strength is a great. After a lot of thought and notes and sketches and designing, I think what I'm going to do is build the console into the insert that came with the Explorer. Rather than trying to build all those, those complex curves and, and angles. But I don't want to cut up the one that came with it, so I called a local junkyard and they had this in an old one for 10 bucks. So for 10 for ten dollars we'll clean this up and use that one and keep our original one in good shape. And I've marked the cut lines that we need to take out so this will sit in there. I've also sanded down this, this insert so that it can take the same black textured paint as the top of the console. The two side pieces cut out and slowly putting a couple coats of paint on. There's the console on the bench. Came together pretty well, looks pretty clean. Take this out to the car and drop it in and see how it looks out there. That's all mounted. Still need to connect up the power and the antennas, but this is the completion of the console part. Came together pretty clean. Pretty simple tools done really cheaply. Thanks for taking a look.